Marcus Rashford is one of the most prominent young football players in the Premier League. He is not only 23 years old, but he also played his first match for Manchester United at the age of 18 in 2016, scoring two goals in a Europa League match. He became the second youngest Europa League scorer in the history of the tournament. To this date, in July 21, he has played in 179 Premier League games and scored 55 goals. His Champions League resume is also very impressive for his age, playing 24 games and scoring 11 goals. I'm sure most of you already know Marcus Rashford from watching the Premier League, the England matches or even his latest missed penalty shot against Italy. But in this video I want to show you why Marcus Rashford is already a hero and doesn't deserve all the hate he got in the recent weeks. He is also much more than just a football player or soccer, however you want to call it. His heart for societal problems deserves much more attention and I'm sure we get to see more of his activism in the future to come. Marcus Rashford was born in 1997 in Manchester. He grew up in the neighborhood of Withenshaw, the largest district of Manchester with about 100,000 inhabitants. He describes his tough childhood in his petition to end childhood poverty. My story to get here is all too familiar for families in England. My mom worked full time, earning minimum wage to make sure we always had a good evening meal on the table. But it was not enough. The system was not built for families like mine to succeed, regardless of how, how hard my mom worked. As a family, we relied on breakfast clubs, free school meals and the kind actions of neighbors and coaches. Food banks and soup kitchens were not alien to us. I recall very clearly our visits to Northern Moor to collect our Christmas dinners every year. It's only now that I really understand the enormous sacrifice my mom made in sending me away to live in Dick's aged 11, a decision no mother would ever make lightly. He began his football career playing for an amateur junior football club named Fletcher Moss Rangers FC, which interestingly helped shape young Manchester United talents like Danny Welbeck, Jesse Lingard and Wesley Brown. At nine years old, he went to the Manchester United junior team and has played for the Red Devils ever since. He's basically a long life Red Devil to this point and also a Manchester local boy, which makes his rise to a star even better. In 2016, he played his first season at the Premier League, registering five goals in 11 matches with two assists. Louis, Louis van Gaal, the manager of Menu at the time, started to give him more minutes a game, game after game. In May 2016, right before the Euro tournament, he debuted for the Three Lions at a friendly game against Australia, not only playing his first match for England, but also scoring his first goal and becoming the youngest player scoring in the first senior international match. I guess you could say he had a decent start into his England career. With the arrival of the star coach Jose Mourinho, at the start of the season 2016-2017, Rashford got more minutes playing 32 matches in the Premier League. His role in the team, team increased and he became one of the most talked about prospects in England. One of the highlights were his winning goals against Anderlecht in the quarterfinal in extra time and also at the next round against Celta Vigo in the Euro Europe League semi-final in May 2017. In 2018-2019 he basically started every match for Man U and was a crucial part of the team. Now in the summer of 2021 everyone is focusing on his missed penalty shot against Italy in the Euro panel. Not only racism and bigotry is driving his, this wave of hate against him, Sancho and Saka, it's also the fact that Rashford is an outspoken activist, not going with the flow but speaking up when he sees something he doesn't like outside of football. But Marcus Rashford is more than just his number 10, his qualities on the, on the pitch, which he proved day in, day out, and he's also just 20, 23 years old. He's more than his skills, his talent and his jersey. He's a local hero, not only for the neighbor of, of Withenshaw, but also for England as a whole. 
In 2020, while the pandemic was raging through Great Britain, the British government announced its decision to stop free school meals for students due to the fact that they wanted to reduce spending. Normally, these kind of laws get changed and nobody bats an eyelash. That's business as usual, you could say. But Marcus Rashford didn't care about business as usual. He stepped up. System, it needs to put them things in place. Like if the worst thing happens, for example, like coronavirus, um, where does it leave these families? And it's left them with, with nothing, basically. And, um, you know, when I started it, that's what I've seen. And that was, I always had a sort of a hunger and a desire to do it. But seeing the effects that it had um, during coronavirus, it, it it made me have to speed things up. Um, and I think that they should have been on top of that before anybody else, before anybody else was really. And he released a statement starting a petition to end childhood poverty, calling on the British government to extend the free school meals program and also to take action to end child food poverty finally. Not only did over 1 million people sign on, but the British government was forced by action to come out and voice support for the activism of Rashford and his petition. I guess you could say he did a decent job with this petition. For the record, about 30% of UK children grow up in poverty, Wales beating England by a small margin with 31% to 30%. In families with a lone parent, the poverty rate is stunning 49%. That's basically half of all children in the UK. Marcus Rashford was raised by a single mother, so he's well aware of these facts and understands the pain many single parents are going through nowadays. The Sunday Times giving list of 2020, released a few months ago, stated that Rashford had donated 20 million pounds to fair share in the last year, while his wealth is in the ballpark of 16 million. That's basically a giving index of 125%. 125%. Damn. Fair Share is an organization in their words fighting hunger and tackling food waste in the UK. And look, I'm not here to say that Marcus Rashford is perfect and everyone else criticizing him for whatever reason sucks, because we are and should be allowed to criticize individuals in a respectable manner. And there are reasons to criticize Rashford for his performances in indi individual matches. I'm not against any of that. What I'm trying to do with this video is showing you that Marcus Rashford is not only a great football player, a local hero and an activist against child poverty, but also a young man with conscience. Already a hero, no matter his missed penalty shot in the Euro final, no matter his next missed penalty shot. And look, if you want to talk about Sir Marcus Rashford, yeah, his name Sir Marcus since 2020 for his fight against poverty. But if you want to talk about penalties, here's a tiny note for you, dear Rashford Tater. Out of his 18 penalties in the past years, Rashford made 15 of them. That's a percentage of 83.333333%. Oh, and I forgot something to mention. If you want to criticize Rashford, or Sancho or Saka for missing a crucial penalty in the final of one of the greatest stages in the world, you could, maybe, potentially, perhaps, in some certain scenario, possibly, conceivably, look at the coach or the older teammates, not wanting or willing to put that pressure on their shoulders, not stepping up. But yeah, that's all I guess. I guess you could say Marcus Rashford is a decent football player and a great activist. My favorite two lines of, of his statement after the loss of the Euro final were these sentences. I'm Marcus Rashford, 23 years old, black man from Withington and Withenshaw, South Manchester. If I have nothing else, I have that. So if you want to criticize Marcus for his missed penalty, go do it. He's already a hero. And he's that boy from Withenshaw doing his thing. He's on a mission. If one good thing comes out of all of this hate and drama of the past few weeks, it's maybe the story of Rashford and his mission, inspiring others to see the light and not the dark.
It's clear now that Marcus Rashford is on a mission to inspire others, to help and learn, to grow, also outside of football. So what's your mission? That's the end of this video guys. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. Cheers.